What if I told you that in ancient Hinduism, there was no caste system? Ancient Hindu texts like Menu Smriti, Bhagavad Gita, the Vedas, and Puranas do mention something called the Varna system. This was a way of classifying people based on their roles and skills in society. Here's how it worked. Brahmins were those who dedicated themselves to religious activities and the study of Vedas. Kshatriyas were the warriors and rulers who protected the land. Vaishyas engaged in trade and business, while Shudras were involved in manual and menial tasks. Now what's interesting is that this Varna system was quite flexible in the early days. People could actually move from one Varna to another based on their abilities and choices. For example, a Shudra's son could become a Brahmin if he studied the Vedas and performed rituals. But in later centuries, things changed. The Varna system became rigid, and the ability to move between Varnas became restricted. It eventually evolved into what we now know as the caste system. So, in a nutshell, ancient Hinduism had the Varna system, which was occupation-based. But over time, it transformed into a more rigid and discriminatory caste system, 